Hello, class. Hello, teacher. New Hi. look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now it's a new look. <laughs> yes. That's great, teacher. That's great. It's uh, changing a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you look so beautiful. That's nice. Thank you. Thank uh -huh. you. I appreciate it. Um, how are you guys today? Everything Pretty good. Okay, yeah. Sorry? Okay, teacher. Everything yeah. okay. Yeah? Okay, good, good. How was the, the middle of the week? Because today is Wednesday. So how was the middle of the week? Almost almost ready to finish it or or um, are you do you have a lot of energy to continue? <laughs> or not so much. <laughs> <laughs> Right, yeah, I guess just a little, not not so much, huh? Yeah, we're we're a little bit tired by the end by by this time, but you know, you gotta keep on going. Well, and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, all right, guys. Um, uh, I have a question. Bueno, no, mejor me espero hasta que todos estén acá porque quiero quiero hablar con ustedes de algo. Pero bueno, okay. Um, how is how is uh, the how are the exercises from the platform going? Good. Any problems? I'm on my way. I'm uh, expecting to make today the seventeen, the uh, seventeen one. Good. Hey, good for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Estamos al día. Good. Teacher. Yeah. In the platform, don't have uh, um, this discuss discussion discussion. No. No. Okay. And so, any any problems that you guys have had with the exercises so far? No. No. It's okay. All right, good, excellent. Please report to me any any problems with exercises so that I can report to them, right? Because that's the idea for you guys to be able to make it to make it as easy as possible for you guys to do the exercises on you know the platform. So just let just let us know, okay? Okay, so um, all right, let me take attendance. So Anna Claudia, present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Andres? Present teacher. All right. Edgar. Edgar, no. Not here. Okay. Uh, Janet? Present teacher. All right. Fabiola? Present teacher. All right. Excellent. Francisco Javier? Francisco Javier, no? Okay, Haiti. No? Okay. Uh, Irene? 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 No? Okay. All right. Uh, so, Josue? Josue? No? Josue is not here. Okay. Um, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Wonderful. Carla. Carla. Present, Present teacher. Wonderful. Uh, Melissa. Ah, she is. Okay. Good. Uh, Luis. Luis. No. Okay. Uh, Manuel, Manuel de Jesus. Present. All right. Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. All right. Marvin. Present teacher. All right. Wendy. Present teacher. Werner. Werner? No. Okay. Um, uh, Noemi. Noemi? 
Not here, my me? Okay, not here. Uh, Yvonne. Present teacher. Okay, good. Daniel. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Jorge. Uh, Marlene. Marlene? No? Uh, Ricardo. Ricardo. Okay, wow. Um, I'm missing a lot of people here. Let, let me call out the names of the people that I didn't hear and maybe they just connected. Okay, Edgar? Edgar, Edgar? No. Okay, Francisco. Francisco? No. Uh, Heidi? She puts a message, she wrote a message on the WhatsApp chat. Oh, okay, I haven't checked the WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. So, okay, thank you. Um, Irene? Irene? Irene, no. Okay. Um, eh, Josue? Josue, no. Um, Luis? Warner, Noemi, uh, Jorge, Arlene, Ricardo. So I guess they aren't here. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so we are going to start with our class today. Um, si voy a esperar todavía, quiero hablar con algunos que, bueno, quiero esperar mejor hasta que todos estén. Okay, so we'll just start with the PowerPoint. Um, please let me know when you can see the PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. Yeah, you can see it? Yes. Okay, great. All right, so today, well, we're, this is beginner module five. Today, uh, we're looking at unit four, company procedures and policies. And today is Wednesday, May 5th, 2021. It's day number 17. Your tutor is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, um, so let's start. Okay, now this is an, the activity that we did yesterday and that not everybody was able to complete. So let's, um, I'm, I told you guys I was gonna give you more time today. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So we're going to work in pairs, go to your breakout room, discuss the policies that you have in your company, Use should and shouldn't. Use the sentences you wrote yesterday, right? To, to get, give you an idea of what you're going to talk about. Record your conversation by audio, okay? Um, and share it with the facilitator. So um, yesterday, some of you were a little confused on how I wanted it. You don't have to do it by video. You can do it by audio, you know, um, just like, like a like a voice message a voice note on on whatsapp you can send it to me uh with you know if you're on your computer you're talking and you can hear your partner as well speaking right okay so it doesn't have to be that complicated the other thing is that please don't write the conversation down it should be something very fluent okay that's the whole idea with this activity for you guys to you know practice your fluency and just you know talk like you would normally talk with your classmates okay does that make sense everybody yes teacher yeah i don't know how to just uh, record the the voice because i'm using computer but i i will try i will find a way <laughs> um i mean when you are in, in your computer doesn't it come 
um, if you disconnect the the um, the, ah, head the headset. Uh -huh. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna go get some water. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, so if you disconnect the headsets, um, will you be able to hear the people um, in coming from like the, the speakers from your computer? Yes, yes. Uh, okay, in that case, um, yeah, just, you know, just for the, just to, you know, for the little bit that you're going to record it, you know, you can, I'm just gonna have the headset just for the that tiny thing. Oh, okay. 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 So guys, what I'm gonna do just give me a moment. Okay, so I took a picture yesterday of the the groups um, so that I knew exactly how to to what what how to put you guys in which group to put you in. So let me just um, get that open. Okay. So um, all right, so let's create the. The breakout rooms. Um, so in breakout room number one, I have Janet with Wendy. Right? Janet and Wendy were working together? Okay. All right. In group number two, I have Edgar. Um, Edgar is not here, right? Okay, hold on. Marvin, are, is Marvin here? Yes. Okay, you were working with Edgar, right? Yes. Okay, um, because Edgar is not here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait um, later to see if he, while I'm making the groups, he comes in. If he doesn't, then I'll assign you a different partner, okay? Okay, teacher. All right, in group number, okay, so then we have um, Fabiola. Um, Fabiola I had with, with Josue. Give me a second. Okay, so I had Fabiola with Josue, but I think Josue is not here. And, um, and Luis. Okay, so right now you guys are gonna be together. If, if, uh, if Josue comes, then we'll, then we'll assign you to the group. I'll assign him to the group. Okay, um, so, then we have um, Irene. Irene. Hello. And hello, Irene. Hello. hello. Warner. Yes. But Warner is not here, which is weird. It's normally, he probably come in a little bit later. Okay, so never mind then. I will sign you a little bit later then. Uh, Carla, I had Carla with, Carla, Carla, with, um, with Manuel de Jesus. Okay. Um, then I had Ana Claudia 
with Juan Francisco. Yes. And then I had Francisco Javier. Francisco Javier with Manuel Alejandro. And then I had Melissa. Melissa, Melissa, Melissa with Noemi. Okay, and bueno, entonces quiero ver quiénes son los que me van quedando. Okay. Uh, Edgar, are you here? ¿Entra de Edgar todavía? Okay. Um, and then Giovanni, you were not here yesterday for that, that activity, right? Uh, yesterday I had problems with my connection teacher. So mm -hmm. I didn't okay. work in that. Bye. Okay, Daniel, you were not here either, right? Eh, por lo del problema, teacher, de que no me dejaba conectar. Ajá, ajá, sí, cierto, cierto. Ok, um, Irene. Irene, 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 was with Warner. Oh, <coughs> Marvin. Marvin ya se había ido, no. Ah, no. Oh, no, no, Marvin estaba con Edgar. Ok, bien. Um, Ricardo. Ricardo no estuvo ayer, ¿verdad? No teacher, I couldn't. Okay, uh, Yvonne. Hello. Hi, Yvonne, tampoco estuvo ayer, ¿verdad? No. Okay, va, hagamos una cosa, entonces voy a, voy a asignar los que no estuvieron ayer, los que no tienen una pareja ahorita, uh, de los que ahorita todavía no ha llegado su pareja, entonces y les van a, ellos le van a explicar qué es lo que estamos haciendo. Okay, so um, Marvin, I'm going to sign you with it. Se me olvidó, es que no me la terminé por andar comiendo la carrera. And um, I'm going to add, quiero ver, um, eh, Daniel, Usted no, no estuvo en la en, en no, o sea, no estuvo en los grupos, pero sí sabe de, de qué se trata el, el sí sabe de qué, qué, qué cómo era cómo era la la instrucción yes, teacher. So, so. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Entonces, I'm going to sign you then with um, I'm going to sign you with Ricardo. Okay? And And then I'm going to assign Irene with Yvonne. Okay? Okay. Bye. Ya están todos, se supone. So I'm going to, you guys, I'm going to give you 10 minutes. Okay? You think you guys can do it in 10 minutes? Do the conversation. And, right? Tiene que hacer las dos cosas. Hacer la conversación y record it. Ok. All right, so let's open up. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. You can refresh uh, the information about the homework. The homework. About this activity. Ah, um, you're, you're going to be using the should. Yeah. Okay. Shouldn't, shouldn't. Okay. ¿Se acuerda que escribieron escribió um, oraciones ayer? Yes. Okay. So you're going to be using that those. Okay. All right. So you guys can go to your groups.
Hello, Wendy. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions, girls, before we continue? Um, yesterday, uh, we have a problems with um, recording. Con la grabación. Ah, cierto, cierto. Y pero uh, Wendy, usted dijo que, que iba a traer su laptop. Sí, uh, pudo. Sí, sí, sí. Aquí te, acá tengo, ya te tengo cómo voy a grabar con el otro, con okay. el otro teléfono. Voy a grabar eh, el, en el WhatsApp y luego lo mando. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, Wendy. Okay. Amor, me pasó tu teléfono. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hello. Um, hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, any problems? Any questions? Any anything you want to tell me? Um, we um finished yesterday, but oh. I'm not sure Edgar didn't send you anything. Josué, sorry, Josué. <laughs> Josué, yes, Josué did. Ajá, uh -huh, sí, sí, me lo ah, mandó okay. el video. Uh -huh, es cierto. Uh -huh. Sí, es que estábamos viendo que tenemos dificultades para volverlo a grabar, pero no sé si está no, bien así no, o... No, no, it's okay, it's okay. You already sent it, so just, just talk, but in English. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Just practice. Right. Yeah, just, just okay. practice, just practice, but continue in English. Ah, okay. 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 Um, Bueno, entonces ya no le mandamos nada, ¿verdad? No, no, because you already sent it. No problem. Ok. Ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok. Uh -huh. And now, Fabiola, you have a, a very good look. Babe. Muchas políticas así. El, el, mismo, el mismo ejemplo de la página 39, ¿qué dice usted? Empezar sí. solo, o sea... ¿Verdad? Tenerlo así como... Y solo cambiar eh, el... Hacer lo mismo. Ajá. Cabal. ¿Qué está opinas? Viendo... Ah, está bien. Ok. Ah, hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> eh... eh... Can we use the example of the page 20, sorry, 39? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Go ahead and use it. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. And can you hear all of the examples that we have about the exercise? What do you mean? Eh, si puede escuchar los si puede escuchar los eh, los ejemplos que tenemos the sentences you wrote yeah go ahead mm -hmm. what, what do you have Manuel eh, Es, va a leer las suyas o leo las mías vale, pero solo que pues, tomen en cuenta que tienen cuatro minutos y eso incluyendo para, para poder grabar quieren 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 um, todavía decírmelos o prefieren no, no. vamos a, a hacer la, la conversación okay. That good. That good. Okay. Bien, bien. Tenemos poquito tiempo. <risa> ok. Eh, ajá. Eh, vamos a cambiarle. ¿verdad? Tendríamos que hacer. We are busy. Uh, it's no time. Mm, but uh, but uh, we are free. Uh, uh, I I had I had my time. 
lunch or for break. break. Uh, or break okay. for break, yes. Ah, okay. But you work so hard for, from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. In the moment into the plant, uh, use alcohol, put it to okay. the plant and, and shame to the mass or the or workers. Okay, welcome teacher. Hi guys, do you have any questions? Hi. Okay, oh, only that, uh, um, all is about uh, should and should, no? Yeah. Yes, shouldn't, shouldn't. Uh huh. Okay, okay. ready. Uh, policy is in our company. Okay. We're ready. Okay. So nice. You have to, you have to record it right now. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Now I'm gonna send this to the teacher. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you for <laughs> for your help. Okay, welcome. Teacher, we we finish. Oh, great! Excellent. You ready? Sent it. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how to do it. <laughs> oh, okay. A second. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, just that I'm worried. That I, I, I can delete it, so I'm, I'm trying to not delete it. No worries, no worries. No worries. Um, okay, you still have a little bit of time, so, you know, try to figure it out. No yeah. worries. I'll go in and visit the Okay, other. thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. We should wear best, como era el... el Chaleco protector? No, no, no. Pero es best, best reflective, le vamos a decir. Ok, si querés, lo hacemos ahorita. Yo voy de esa manera. Ahorita me dice. Déjame ver, voy a buscar a la Jessica Guerrero. Do you okay. guys have any questions? Okay. Anything you want to ask before? Hey. Uh, <laughs> we have to, to uh -huh. use. Uh, mejor se lo, mejor se lo, ¿Cómo se llama? Lo hablamos y no el diálogo aquí. ¿Cómo? No, que en vez de la grabación mejor lo, lo practicamos aquí, nos dice. O ya oh. no hay mucho tiempo. No, lo que pasa es de que la idea es que... Um, Que, que ustedes puedan, o sea, que después yo les pueda dar el, el feedback. ¿verdad? Solo entonces, lo, el, el retroalimentación, pero por eso, pero por eso de que no necesito que lo manden, ¿verdad? Porque no voy a poder hacer eso en, en tan poco tiempo para oh. todos. ¿Sí? Ok, so. Teacher, teacher. ¿Ah? Eh, well, how do you say, este... Chaleco reflectivo or chaleco de seguridad? Oh, um, that would be like a. Bueno, chaleco de seguridad is a, is, a, is, uh, is a security vest. Uh, reflectivo. Security vest. Ah, uh, security vest. Se me ha ido ahorita la palabra de, de reflectivo. A mí eso se me ha escapado. Ya, ya le, le indico después, o, o, o lo necesita ahorita. Sí, porque lo íbamos a usar en el, en la conversación.
Um, you could say reflective vest or a warning vest. Warning vest. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, thanks. Okay. All right, see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay, Andres. Excellent. Teacher, how are you? I need your help. I need your okay, help. What do you need your help, my help for? Tell me. Um, yes. What do you say? Caja chica. But Caja chica. not the box. <laughs> it's the uh, money. Uh -huh. what? Caja chica. Caja, Caja chica. chica, the money. Uh, um, the small box. Uh, I found in San Google, Petty Cash. 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 Petty, it viene de como something that's small, that is uh, insignificant, almost. Yeah, so como que eh, not even very important. It's coming about the French. It's coming uh -huh. about the French petit. Yes. Yes. Okay. But it's okay, actually, okay. if I'm not mistaken, Thanks. it's called, it's P-E-T-T-Y. Not, 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 not uh -huh. petit. P P -E -T -T -Y. P -E -T -T -Y. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have a, a, a I don't know. Uh, we work together. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. We work together. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. Ah, I'm okay. his boss. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. okay. Yes. I am a meal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is going to be really realistic. Okay. That's good. Yes. Okay. Uh, but... Peter, me voy a quejar acerca de las políticas de oh. mi jefe. <laughs> okay. Yes, aprovecha ahorita que puede. Grande, <laughs> quítese. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. All right. Yes. Um, have you already recorded? Have you, Sorry, teacher. Have you already recorded the, the conversation? Uh, no. Okay. No. So, please. Okay. Ahorita, ahorita, okay. mientras voy a ver el otro grupo, pero ahorita, grábenlo porque ya, ahorita, casi. Estás en menos de un minuto ya. Sí, ya, ya. ya más o menos tenemos la idea. Ok, go ahead. Ok. okay. Thank you, teacher. Ok. You're welcome. Thank you. Vaya, Ricardo. Comenzamos. Bye. Tell me, Irene, can you tell me about the different procedures and policies at the workplace? Yes, for example, I should be very responsible about my schedule. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think that is important. Uh, in my workplace, uh, we should dress according to the dress code of the company. Uh, for example, uh, we shouldn't uh, wear high heels and I should wear with casual clothes every day. Excellent, me too. In my case, for example, I should attend trainings always. Oh, uh, I, 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 I should to help with attend trainings too with a new personnel in the plan and we shouldn't sleep in work hours. Excellent, me too. In my company, we have... Gran bache. Pero, pero no salió. Ah, pero, pero hablamos un montón. Ayer, ayer estuvimos, este, 
bastante tiempo. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Teacher, we send you uh, your WhatsApp. Ya, yeah, es que lo que pasa es que he estudiado tantos que no, no, ahorita no he podido tener chance de revisar. De revisar. Todavía no he revisado bien quiénes son los que... Es que me han mandado un montón, ¿verdad? Entonces... Pero, ah, pero sí, sí, ya, ya, ya vi que me mandó que dice Conversation, Elsie Ramírez. Ajá. Sí. Ya, ya la vi. Ok, good. Yeah, very good girls. All right. Thank so I will you. see you in the main room in a moment. Okay? Okay. Okay. Mira, deja. Okay, everybody finished, right? Everybody was able to send me the conversation? Or did you have problems? Anybody, any any groups have problems that we're not able to send? No, everybody was able to send, right? We sent the teacher. Okay, good, good. Um, so, todos pudieron, verdad? Yeah, okay, good, excellent. All right, so guys, that, that, that was um, an activity. Like I said, I, um, the idea here with this one is for me to um, listen to you guys and send it a little bit better, um, a, a little bit more details, the, um, the feedback, right? The feedback is la retroalimentación, right? Porque, porque uh, pues aquí a veces no se puede hacer tan detalladamente uno a uno, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, Esto es más fácil de esa forma. Um, okay, so we're going to continue, guys. Teacher. Hi. Record. Um, have theory uh, 300 of megabytes. Sorry? Our record oh, out uh -huh. 300 of megabytes. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Um, but it's not possible to transfer to WhatsApp. Not possible to transfer to WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Nope. Let me see. Um, can you can you pass it through here through this chat? Maybe I can download it. Let me try. You can you can send it just to me if you want. Okay. Um, all right. So anybody else had any problems that I can help you with? No. It's okay. Everything is fine. We are okay, but I'm not sure if, if you already received the the audio. Um, but lo que pasa si lo que pasa es que si tengo varios todavía no he uh, puedo abrir abrir todos. But um, pero si me si tiene los dos chequecitos me llegó. Okay. No, that's the problem. That my um it's mine is not with the blue check oh so i'm not sure okay that i don't know um let's give it a few minutes sometimes it takes okay. a little bit of time right so let's okay. give it a, a few minutes and then maybe it will it will it will work better okay so uh yeah so just let's just be patient see what happens okay um okay Let's continue, guys, then. Um, hold on, just give me one second. Um, okay, so we're going to start uh, with the next part of our of unit four. So let's take a look right now. Just give me a moment. Okay, tell me when you can see, please, the PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. yes. Wonderful. All right. So this is our conversation. Uh, that we're going to start with the conversation. But before we start with the conversation, let me ask you two questions here. The first, the first question is, how often do you ask for permission at work? So sometimes we have, we have to ask for permission at work because, you know, we have a doctor's appointment or, um, or our son or daughter has something at school that we need to attend or, you know, because we need to have we need to um, go on an earlier vacation or whatever, right? Okay, so there are different reasons why we ask permission at work. How often do you ask for permissions at work? In my case, mm -hmm. um, rarely. Sorry? In my case, I rarely ask for permissions for something okay okay rarely all right when you do ask for permissions what are they for uh, maybe because my mom needs to go to the doctor and i have to 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 go with her okay or if i well if i have something to do but it's not often okay all right, sounds good. Um, all right, what about the rest of you? Do you do you ever ask for permission at work? And if you do, what do you what do you ask it for? Mm. Doctor's appointments. Uh, in my case, it's only when I have doctor's appointment. Oh, okay, okay. For yourself, Yvonne, or for no, for myself. Just for yourself. Uh, yeah, yeah. When my mother have a doctor appointment, I can go with her. Okay, okay, I see. All right. What about the rest of you guys? Teacher. Sure. Uh huh. In my case, I have five permissions for for sick in this year. 
Five um, permissions. No, 15. 15. 15. 15 in a year and five for particular, no sé, how do you say? Particular. Uh -huh. You mean like personal? Personas, personal, uh -huh. uh, per personal, personal. Uh, okay, permissions, okay. Oh, that's but nice. I don't, I don't use all the You don't use them, yeah, because that's 20 uh -huh. days. 20 that's days 20. in a year. Uh -huh. That's not Maybe the, I use the house only. Maybe. Wow, you're so lucky, Giovanni. <laughs> you, 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 don't, you don't have any problems um, asking for the permissions. Oh, good, good, good. All right. But so you, how, so from the 20 days in total, how many days do you usually ask a year? Maybe seven. Seven. Oh, okay. uh -huh. not even half. Wow. Okay. Sounds good. And the rest of you? Well, in my case, I have a, the equivalent. A, I can use it per day or per hours on the equivalent of five discretionary days. And I have also equivalent for in case I need Ay, no sé, cuando te dan una incapacidad, ¿cómo se dice? Oh, sick leave. Sick leave, ajá. Uh -huh. eh, and when we need to go to the doctor, we use those hours for sick leave. And in case they give us, for example, one, two, three days for sick leave, it will be under that period. Mm, okay. Nice. Okay. Very, very nice. Okay. And my question next, my next question is, what is the procedure in your company to request one? So, okay. So you guys have talked about that in your company, you have permission for a certain amount of dates, right? Uh, what is the procedure that you have to follow? I send an email to my manager. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, just that's it. Just send an email to your manager and wait for the response, or you assume that you already have the permission. No, no, I, I wait for the response, but most of the time is is a yes. Oh, okay, okay, uh -huh. got it. All right. What about the rest of you? In my um, case, I have to fill a form for every permission. Okay, so manually you fill out the form, or or digitally. Manually. Manually, okay. All right, and then what do you do after you fill out the form? I have to be. I have to wait for the sign of my superior. Okay. To be authorized to have the permission. Okay, to be approved. Okay. All right. What about the rest of you? I I, I have, have to ask my boss. Yes, uh, I have to ask, ask for permission uh, three days before of my doctor's appointment. And I have to ask for my boss and for the two engineers in the department. Oh, okay. All right. And do you always get a, uh, do you always get a, a positive response? Or do you have to only wait? only with with is a medical appointment? Oh, okay, okay. When it's a medical program, I, I have I have to show that I, I don't know how to say uh, la la cita el, el, el papel que dan en el seguro no sé cómo se llama. Yeah, the the doc the the, the doctor appointment slip. Oh, okay, I have to show the the paper with the with the medical appointment and ask uh, three days before of the of the medical appointment. Okay, all right, good, good, good. Okay, um, all right, in general, not just the people that answered, but all the rest of you guys, is it easy to ask for permission at your job or is it a very complicated procedure? Easy. Easy, teacher. Easy. 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 
Luis is like not too sure. He's like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> In, in my case, teacher, uh -huh. we have a, a special, how do you say, trato? Treatment. Uh, uh, depends. It's not legal. It's like a, un acuerdo a entre deal, deal. A deal. Uh -huh. We have a special deal. Because legally, for politics, we have to uh, ask for permission using the system. We have a, a system in my okay. company. Okay. But with my boss, we have a deal. If one permission is no more than two hours, don't don't be the the bill. Just take it two hours and, and back or, or 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 get late to the work. It's, it's, oh it's so if you're so if you're not going to be absent more than two hours, you don't have to Ask to fill <laughs> the, the 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 form in the uh, in the system right yes okay. oh that's yeah, nice it's very easy yeah yeah super yes. easy yeah but, okay uh, and it's, it's very flexible because we have two days of home office a week if you make all your um um task uh, yeah. tareas, task yeah. Yeah, uh, right. it's, you can take uh, uh, one hour or half hour if you have to make your mandados. <laughs> your errands, run your and errands. Yes, it's, it's I'm going, I'm very going flexible. To, oh, that sounds good. That, that That's actually very convenient. I'm going yes. to write in the chat um, that because um, that I think that's going to be very helpful for everybody. Run errands. Eso es hacer mandados. Ah, ok. Run errands. Ya, yeah, hacer mandados. Ok, excelente. Ya. Okay. Yeah. So, all right, that sounds, that sounds good. That, and, and it sounds reasonable, right? It sounds very reasonable. If you've done everything you need to do, then, you know, you. Yes, you, yes but, you but as long we as you always do, have that's something to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, because uh, usually we have to work until late. When there's a lot of work or taking take uh, calls at night, 12 at night, or yes, wow. because I am a, I am the boss of uh, planning. When oh. in, and the plant work 24 hours a day. They never stop. Wow. If something is happening, I had to take the call. Yeah. Well, that's that's the um, I mean being a manager and everything that's a perk but um the downside is that you know you have more responsibility right yes that's yes. life <laughs> yes but, yeah okay all right guys um so now we talked about that let's take a look at the conversation that um hank and julie have Hank, Julie, and Betty actually have. So there are three people in this conversation, okay? Um, so first I'm going to get you guys to listen and read, or better so listen and repeat after me, okay? So let's start. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Good morning ladies. ladies. How are you doing today? How, How are you, are you, How are you doing, doing today? today? Hello, Hank. Hello, Hank. Hello, Hank. I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay. okay. But Betty is not. But, but Betty, Betty is not. not. Really? What's wrong, really? Betty? What's wrong, Betty? What's, What's wrong, wrong, Betty? Betty? Well, my mother is sick. Well, my, my mother, mother is sick. sick. And my sister can't go see her, sorry. And my sister can't go see her tomorrow. And, and my, my sister, sister can't go, go see her, her tomorrow. tomorrow. I am sorry to Hello, hear brother. that. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to, hear to hear that. that. You could ask for permission. 
You could ask for permission. He is right. He is right. right. You could go to HR. You could go to HR. HR. Department and request a form. Department, Department and request, request form. Form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes absolutely. absolutely. All right, good. All right, guys. Uh, questions about the vocabulary? You can go ahead and write in the chat. vocabulary now. Teacher HR is uh, human resources. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Nobody has any questions about the vocabulary? Really? Everything is clear. Okay. All right. Then let's look at the um, then the pronunciation. Questions about the pronunciation. I'm curious about cool. Is it cool or cold? <laughs> Please explain the pronunciation for that. Okay. Um, all right. So the pronunciation of this word. Do you remember? Yes. Well, uh, yes. Yesterday we talked about the word S H O U L D. How do you pronounce that? The word that we learned about yesterday, how do you pronounce it? Good. Sorry? Should. Should, right? Yeah. We, so we pronounce it should. So if you notice, should, should yes, should. So the, there is, the L is not pronounced. Mm. The same thing happens with could. It's uh, the L is also silent. Ah, uh, okay. You do okay. not pronounce the L. And... You don't actually the L and the U do are, are not pronounced better so. Oh no, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, the L sorry, the L and the O, oh, sorry. That. So the L and the O. It's good. Good. Okay. So the O and the L are both silent. Okay. All right. So you pronounce it could. 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 Okay. Yeah. All the words I'm going to write right here, over here, I'm in the right in the middle, I'm going to write. Um, there are model auxiliaries. Like uh, yesterday we learned should, could, and would. And all of those ones are pronounced very similar in the sense that you do not pronounce the, the O or the L. Okay. okay. All right, so, um, so don't pronounce the O, don't pronounce the L in anyone. Thank you. Okay, so you would pronounce it should, could, would. Should, could, would. Okay? Okay, thank you. Another thing is, I want you to notice with the word or with the name better said, 
the na this name here, you know, in Spanish, we say Betty, right? Like, kind of like Betty La Fea. But in English, especially when you have like a double T, we make the double T into the sound like an R. So it's not Betty, it's Betty, Betty. Okay, it's almost like between like a D and an R. Betty, Betty, Betty. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Any other vocabulary uh, words that you would like me to, to help you with the pronunciation? Sure. Yeah? This, uh, word, uh, what is the correct pronounce the wrong? What? Oh, wrong. Yeah, wrong. R uh, uh, wrong. Yeah. Not wrong. It's wrong. R uh, uh, wrong. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Anything else? Uh, uh, permission. I see. Permission. Yes. Permission. 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 Okay. Thank you. Permission. The stress is on the sec on the second to last syllable. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to give you a, a little hint. With all of the in English, when the words finish in the sound shun, like education, permission, um, globalization, anything that sounds with start finishes with a shun. The, the syllable that is stressed is the second to last. Okay, so la penultima. The, the, the second to last syllable is the one that is stressed. Just like here, permission. The mi is before the shun. Permission. Permission. Okay. Yeah, permission. Okay. Uh, or for example, education. Instruction. 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 Right? So all the syllable before the shun. Okay. Thank okay. you. Mission. Vision. Right? All of the, the stress is on the, the one before the shun. Okay? Okay. Anything else, guys, you want to ask about? No? Okay, so. Teacher, yeah? repeat please the uh, absolute, absolute. Oh, sure. Um, absolutely. 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 Okay. okay. So the stress is on the loot. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Anything else? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to now practice the conversation. But if you notice, there are three people. So I'm going to get you to work in groups of three. One of you is going to be Hank, one of you is going to be Julie, one of you is going to be Hank. You're going to be switching. So basically, you're going to have to uh, do the conversation three times because you're going to have a chance to be different people each time. Okay. And I'd like you guys to discuss the question, or the, the, these questions. First question is, So the first question is, what is the problem with Betty? Do you know someone who had a similar situation? And if you do, please tell your, your classmates about it, okay? So tell them what, what, what happened in that person's situation, okay? So let's get you guys into groups of three. 
Um, do I have Warner here? Oh yeah, now Warner's here. Yes, teacher, good evening. Uh, good evening. Okay, so Warner's in two. Let's see. Let's have it. Um, okay. Sí, casi prácticamente. Just give me one second. Okay. All right, so here we go. I'm going to open up the rooms. Remember, the idea is to practice everybody, okay? So you're gonna have a chance, one, to be Hank, another time to be Betty, another time to be Julie, okay? All right, so let's open up the groups. Here we go. I know me. Uh, ¿Es posible meterse al grupo o no? Very tight. Uh. I in and me Hank. Okay. <laughs> and or the ladies. <laughs> and uh, okay, okay, Julie and um, uh, Werner, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no problem, you, are, no problem. you are very <laughs> Werner. Okay. No, no problem. problem. It's, it's gender, gender, okay, man. gender <laughs> equality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Today. Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Betty. 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 Yoo -hoo, yoo -hoo, Betty. Betty Werner. <laughs> ah, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Well, my mother is sick, and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. Huh? I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mentioned the reason for the permission. Yes, absolutely. Okay, uh, switch. A switch a guy. Okay, Me, I'm. Hank. Okay. Really? You are very man. <laughs> cool, man. <laughs> no rolling, okay. Good morning. Se nos fue Manuel. No sé. Manuel, do you Manuel. hear? Yeah. Teniendo problemas de audio. Ah, eh, soy Han. Hola. Eh. Ok. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I'm okay, but Betty is not. Uh, really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission? He's right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay. 
Now we can switch. I guess one of the boys can be Julie. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I, I, I'm gonna be Julie. Okay, so again, Hank, uh, Manuel. Okay, Manuel. Julie. Ah, Mary. No, I'm Julie. <laughs> ah, so let me be Hank. Now, son, who had the thing? Uh, yes. But uh, in my case, um, I we we don't we don't ask for permission. Uh, we may uh, change the chip uh, with other the other supervisor, and I don't I don't ask for permission. Mm, okay. Uh, in my case, in my company, uh, we fill the form to change uh, shift or to permission to to when we have a contratiempo teacher. How do you say contratiempo or Similar. A setback. A setback. Uh -huh, a setback. Okay. Uh, a setback in the uh, when I be late, I call up. When I be late or when I am late? When, uh, cuando vamos a llegar tarde? when we're going to be late. We're we going to be late. I call up to the supervisor or to a uh, manager to inform, inform. Uh, that's, that's easy, the permission. And you and you, Manuel? Uh, in my in my case, uh, the situation is the all all day, all weeks, all months. Uh, I work to to the people I have na uh, ninety. Persons, very, very similar situations uh, for today. Consultas, teacher, como se dice? Doctor's appointment. Uh, uh, Manuel, what is uh, the formal form of people? Sorry, what is the formal, the form, the, what is the, the plural <laughs> form of person? Excuse me? What is the for the, the perdón, okay, well, let me start again. <laughs> uh, what is the plural form of person? People. Ah. People. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> People. Okay. Uh, I don't understand teacher. The the formal the plural form of person. Ah, oh, okay. So person is one, right? A person. And then if you have three, you don't say three persons. You say three people. Oh. People. Ah, okay. Oh. Okay. And your company okay. is working very, very people. Yes. Uh, it's correct. I work. No, yes, it's I it's correct. Very people. people. What yes, many people. Uh, muchas personas. Many people. Many, many, many people. Uh, me. many. many people. Uh -huh. many people. In my case, in my company, my site, we company branch different uh, different sites in the in the country. We have uh, sites in the frontier. Is correct frontier. The border. Huh? The border. 
border. the border. Okay, in the border. In my case, in my in my seat, my site, site, is is the same time in Spanish, teacher. Sitio, site. Place. 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 It depends. What do you mean? Uh, nosotros, nosotros tenemos uh, la oficina central y las otras están en las fronteras. Uh -huh. Y nosotros les llamamos sitios. Sitio Santa Ana, sitio Angatú, sitio Acajutla. ¿Como sucursales? Ajá, sería branches. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, sí, pero nosotros fronteras, o sea, estamos en las fronteras, pero nosotros los manejamos como sitio Anguiatú, sitio Acajutla, sitio Achadura. Ah, a eso me refiero. Un tipo de sub, ah, tipo subdi, subdivisiones de frontera, por decirlo así. Ajá, sí, se podría decir que sí. Ajá, eh. Uh -huh. But the question is in my in my branch santa ana we have or we are working uh, 12 12 people 11 people es uh, mucho menos teacher much less much less in your company manuel uh, in my company, there are uh, 1,500, 1, uh, 700, 700, 800 people. Not peoples, no, just people. Because people, people. Is plural. Ah. Yeah, is plural. Okay, people. Yes. Okay, okay. Okay. 1,800 people. Okay. Very, very. I work in, in front of the loom. Oh. It's or manufacture, manufacturing the, yeah. <laughs> or manufacturing the, Boxers, underwear. T-shirt. 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 Excuse me. una pregunta me vas a hacer. Yes. And your company, este, eh, Francisco. Uh, in my company, uh, we are we are uh, a bit Okay. All right, guys. I think everybody is here now. All right. Um, bye. Antes que sigamos, let's tomar um, la asistencia. So, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Wonderful. Andre, eh, Andres Giovanni? Present teacher. Okay. Edgar? Edgar? No, right? No, I don't see it. But, okay. Um, Janet? Present teacher. All right. Uh, Fabiola? Present teacher. Great. Francisco? Yeah. All right. Heidi? Heidi? Heidi, you're stuck. Okay. Uh, Irene? Present. All right. 
Josué Alberto? No, Josué Alberto no. Uh, Juan Francisco? Present teacher. All right. Eh, Carla? Present teacher. All right, excellent. Uh, Melissa? Present teacher. Excellent. Luis? Present teacher. All right. Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Great. Right. Manuel de Jesus. Present. All right. Marvin. Present teacher. All right. Wendy. Wendy? No. Okay. Teacher. Present teacher. Oh, okay. There she is. All right. Excellent. Warner. Present teacher. All right. Noemi. Present teacher. All right. Present. All right. Daniel. No need to take. Uh, sorry. Uh, present teacher. Okay, great. Jorge. Marlene. Ricardo. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Um, okay, antes que continuemos, um, Eh, quería mencionar, voy a mencionar esto, esto en español, lo voy, voy a cambiar un momentito al español porque quiero eh, decirles algo importante. Uno, pues eh, ustedes hayan visto de que en el grupo de WhatsApp se les ha estado mandando unos recordatorios, ¿verdad? Eh, espero que lo hayan podido leer. Uh, Los recordatorios son los siguientes para aquellos que no han tenido chance de leerlo. Uno es, les recuerda de que es la última semana de clase y es de sumamente importancia que todos se conecten, si es posible, a la hora y, verdad, a las 8 de la noche y terminando a, a la hora, o sea, la, 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 el, la hora completa de clase, ¿verdad? Eso sería lo ideal que ustedes pudieran hacer, conectarse ahí uh, los, el tiempo completo para que así ustedes puedan llegar al 80% ¿verdad? de asistencia, que es un requisito para poder continuar al próximo curso. Entonces, eh, ese es uno de los recordatorios, ¿verdad? Si alguien tiene algún problema, por favor, um, hable conmigo. Y um, podemos ver cómo le podemos uh, eh, apoyar, ¿verdad? Para, de tal forma que usted pueda cumplir, ¿verdad? Con ese requisito. Eh, y quiero ver uh, la otra de los recordatorios que se les hace es los, la documentación, ¿verdad? Que también es otro requisito y que como les he estado mencionando anteriormente, Eh, eso es algo que tienen que asegurarse ahí con su compañía, ¿verdad? Con, me imagino que recursos humanos, ¿verdad? Por lo general es el que ve esos asuntos, ¿verdad? O si, no sé, si su empresa es más pequeña, a veces ¿verdad? puede ser uh, ¿verdad? Su, su mismo jefe. Pero uh, igual necesitan asegurarse que en la empresa ya hayan mandado la documentación. Así que les pedimos de suma importancia, ¿verdad? Que lo manden porque... Como ustedes ya vieron, la fecha tentativa para comenzar el próximo módulo es el, el 17 de, de mayo, ¿verdad? Pero esa fecha, como dices, es tentativa porque está sujeto a que podamos tener toda la documentación. Si no, no, si no nos llega la documentación, no vamos a poder completar los grupos y por lo tanto se va a alargar el tiempo. ¿Verdad? De espera. Entonces, uh, y, y claro, eso también significa que se va alargando el tiempo en que ustedes completan el, 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 el programa, ¿verdad? Entonces, para ustedes, pues, uh, creo que es, es uh, mucho más beneficioso, ¿verdad? Que continuemos, ¿verdad? Lo más que podemos. De todos modos, ya vamos a tener, de por sí, vamos a tener eh, tres días prácticamente 
de espera, ¿verdad? Entre un módulo y el próximo, porque sería, eh, terminamos martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, no tendríamos clase, ¿verdad? Y el lunes, por supuesto, porque es un día de sueto, ¿verdad? Eso, eso ya creo que todos um, se recuerda que hemos hablado, ¿verdad? Que el lunes no tenemos clase. Pero, um, pero entre un, una clase y la otra ya serían tres días. Así que yo, yo digo que es más que suficiente para poder descansar y ya estar listo para el próximo módulo. Pero si no entregamos un documento a tiempo, ese tiempo se nos va a alargar a dos semanas prácticamente que vamos a estar esperando. Así que por favor eh, les, les, um, les rogamos que puedan ustedes asegurarse en su empresa que hayan mandado documentos. No sé si hay alguien que ahorita tenga algún inconveniente con los documentos que le, tal vez les podamos apoyar ahorita. O si no, me pueden mandar un mensaje privado si se si gustan o me dicen ahorita cómo se gustan. En, en, en la empresa donde, donde yo trabajo ya los enviaron, teacher. Yo pregunté ah. ahora y ya, ya los son Ok, solo la, la última partecita, Wendy, no le pude captar completamente, pero en lo que entendí es que se supone que lo tuvieron que haber mandado hoy, ¿verdad? Eh, solamente a, asegúrese, solo, solo um, tal vez pasado mañana puede preguntar, mire, solo quería asegurarme que sí, eh, ya ya lo habían mandado, ¿verdad? Entonces, porque a veces, como les digo, dicen, sí, lo vamos a mandar hoy. Pero hoy resulta que se les, les llegó mil y un cosas ese día que no esperaban y se les olvidó, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, en vez de, de, de ir con la palabra de que lo voy a mandar hoy, lo voy a mandar mañana, mejor asegúrese y diga, sí, lo mandamos tal día, ¿verdad? Es, es lo, lo ideal. Y así usted no tiene ningún inconveniente. Y lo tercero, es de que les tuvo que haber llegado una notificación a su WhatsApp y a su correo, ¿verdad? El día de hoy, si, si no me equivoco. Y esa notificación es para completar la encuesta. La encuesta que Insafor nos pide como también parte del requisito. O sea, en otras palabras, aquí hay tres requisitos. Bueno, cuatro en realidad. Cuatro requisitos para poder seguir al próximo nivel. Uno, la asistencia. Dos, la plataforma, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, uno, la asistencia del 80%. Dos, la plataforma del 80%. Um, quiero ver, eh, tercero sería los documentos, ¿verdad? Y lo cuarto es la, 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 el que esté completo, la encuesta. Pero esa encuesta no se va a hacer individualmente. En otras palabras, no se adelante y lo haga por su propia cuenta, porque es, la instrucción es que da Insafor es que debe de ser una actividad que se realiza al final, al final del curso, o sea, en la clase. Eso es parte de la clase que vamos a tener el día martes, ¿ok? Y tiene, es algo que, que Insafor pide que, que quede grabado. Pero entonces, eh, por eso es importante que no se me adelanten a hacerlo. Sin embargo, lean el, el, um, el, el correo, ¿verdad? O el, o el WhatsApp. Si tienen alguna duda, pueden preguntar a, con antelación, ¿verdad? Pero esto lo vamos a completar todos juntos el martes. ¿Ok? ¿Está, está claro eso? ¿Tienen alguna duda de la encuesta? No, no, teacher. Ok, ok. No. Porque como le, les vuelvo a decir, también es un requisito. Ah, lo último que se me quedaba es lo siguiente. Todos están en el grupo de WhatsApp. Yo sí. O, o, o me ha dicho, lo voy a hacer esa, esa, de esta forma la pregunta. ¿Hay alguien que no esté en el grupo de WhatsApp? El grupo de WhatsApp de, de, de nuestra clase. Ok, perfecto. Pregunto por qué la encuesta, el comprobante, digamos, de que se ha mandado la encuesta, lo vamos a mandar al grupo, 
de WhatsApp. Entonces, por eso es importante que todos estén, ¿ok? Ok, entonces eso es, es todo en cuanto a los recordatorios, ¿verdad? Eh, acuérdense, solo, solo nos quedan, ¿qué? Um, tres días de clase, eso es todo. Después de este día, solo nos queda jueves, viernes y martes. Entonces, hagan todo lo posible por asistir a todas las clases para poder cumplir con las horas de asistencia. Y acuérdense que también de repente se nos uh, pasa o se nos cruza un, un inconveniente y no podemos asistir a clase. Por eso es de suma importancia que hagamos lo posible de estar en clase porque si en algún momento tengamos una emergencia, pues no tenemos que estar preocupados como que, uy, no voy a poder cumplir con el, con el tiempo entonces, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, hasta donde ustedes puedan, conéctense a la hora y estén la, 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 las dos horas completas para que ustedes puedan tener, contar con ese tiempo, ¿ok? ¿Alguna preguntita? ¿Comentario que tengan antes de continuar? ¿No? No. Ok. Ah, última pregunta. Que ya se los había hecho anteriormente en el curso anterior, pero como hay ciertas personas también que eh, no estuvieron en el curso anterior, lo vuelvo a preguntar. ¿Todos saben tomar capturas de imagen de ya sea su celular? O su, o su computadora? Sí, teacher. Yes. Ok, porque también vamos a necesitar poder saber cómo hacer eso porque tenemos que tom tomar la captura de imagen del, de que hemos completado la, la comproba el comprobante que hemos completado en la encuesta. Entonces, por eso pregunto. Ok, perfecto. Entonces, ya estamos listos para eso. Excelente. All right. In that case, guys, we're going to continue. Um, ooh, everybody can see the PowerPoint. Teacher. Okay, good. So in the conversation, you probably already have noticed that we used a lot of could. And we already started talking about this word. What is this word for? Why do we use this word? I'm going to need a volunteer to help me read this. Oh, by the way, antes que me ayuden, hay un, hay un um, error de dedo. So I'm going to fix it right now. This should not be should. This should be could. Okay. Si quieren, pueden también hacerlo en su, en su manual. Para que lo tengan ahí listo. Okay. All right. So who would like to help me? Yes, you should. Okay, great. Go for it, Juan Francisco. Um, you see, you see the model part could to express possibility. A scriptural subject plus code plus verb plus complement. You could request a day off. You could talk to your supervisor or the manager. She could explain her situation. We could take the company, sorry, the company's transportation. Thank you very much, Juan Francisco. Very, very good. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to clarify something. Could can be used for different reasons, but today we're going to be looking at could only for possibility. Okay, so we're looking at could for possibility. Okay, that's what's important here. Okay, and the structure that is used for could is similar to the one, or basically, yeah, pretty much is, it's very similar to the one we use for should, which is subject plus could plus the verb. And the verb has to be in the base form and then the complement, okay? 
just like over here. Um, so in this one, the subject is you, right? We're going to start with the subject all the time. You, you, she, and we. So we always start with the subject. After that comes the word could, okay? So you already noticed we have here could, right, could, could, and could, okay? And after could, we have the verb, but the verb has to be in the base form, okay? It's gonna be in the base form. So we have, in this case, request. This one is talk. This one is explain. This one is take. And then finally, we have the complement, right? So in this case, it's a day off. So it's a day off. This one's to talk to, the, to, to your supervisor or the manager per situation and the company's transportation. Okay, there you go. Now, just to make sure you understand this, let's give you some more examples. Okay. It could be very cold there in, in winter. That dog could be dangerous. It could be blue. That could be Tom's brother. He looks like Tom. So notice that in these ones, they mean that it's a possibility. So it means here, um, it's a possibility that it's cold there in the winter. It's a possibility that the dog is dangerous. It's a possibility that that is blue. It's a possibility that, a, that the man is Tom's brother because he, look, he looks like Tom, okay? Now, in all of these ones, if you noticed, I used could and be, right? Could be, could be, could be, could be. So that is a very, very common way to use could with be. It's like I say in Spanish, Podría ser, podría ser. So it's very, very common to use could be, but it's not the only way. We can also say the storm could get worse. It could rain today, but I'm not sure. So it's a possibility. You could easily get lost in that town. So it's a possibility that you could get lost in that town. Okay. So it's not necessary just to use the could be. If you notice here, I use could get, could rain, could get. Okay. Got it? Teacher? Yeah? On the last sentence, uh, we can put another word between the could and the verb in the base form. Yes, because in this case, easily is what we call an adverb, and adverbs go in the middle, okay? It's like, it's like saying, like, maybe, or sometimes, right? They're adverbs, so they go in the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, any questions about this? No questions? Not teacher. Could is podría? Uh -huh. Podría or podrías. Podría, podrías. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, guys, so let's, oops. Sorry. Teacher, like, yeah. The verb is in the base form. The verb is in the base form, just like be, right? Aquí me gusta usar el be porque es bien ilustrativo. Uh, you never say it could is. You say it could be. 
right? So that shows you it's always going to be in the in the base form of the verb, not not any form, not in the ing or the ed or the s, nothing like that. Okay. Sounds good to everybody, or do you guys have any questions about this? No? Okay. All right. So let's let's put into practice. Okay. Let's see what we got here. So let's do some exercises. It says read the situations. Sure. So it says and write. She say and write a sentence expressing possibility with could. Share the sentences with your classmates. So here are some sentences. So the first one says, you don't have a car. What possibility could you, could you say with could? Remember the idea here, the important thing here that we're trying to do is use the word could. All right? You could buy a car. You could buy a car, yeah, sure, why not? You could save up for a car. Um, you could use the bus, right, et cetera, et cetera. So many, many possibilities. Someone of your family is sick, right? What could you do? What could happen, et cetera, et cetera? What could they do? You need to request a legal document. You feel tired or you feel sick. And this one is your own situation, right? So you, got, you can invent for this one. Okay, so I want you to, to write a minimum of one sentence per situation. Got it? And if you guys have any questions, you can go ahead and ask me.
So no questions, guys? Everything seems to be okay? You understand everything? Okay, how are you guys doing? Are you almost ready? Do you guys need more time? No? No more time. Two minutes, please, teacher. Two more minutes, okay. Two more minutes than it is. Francisco, have you had, were you able to, to find another way? Yeah. Or I send you. Oh, okay. Hold on. Wait a sec. You send it to my WhatsApp. Yeah. Oh, I was I was I was expecting to see it in the chat here. Okay, hold on. It can be possible. Uh, <laughs> okay, no problem. Uh is is your number the one that finishes in nine eight? Your telephone yeah, yeah. number finishes yeah, yeah. In nine eight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Is there? Got it. Okay, thanks. Okay, one more minute, guys.
Okay, guys, so I'm going to get you guys to go to your, your, your groups, okay? I'm going to sign you a group, and I want you to share your ideas in groups, okay? Um, Okay, go ahead and join your groups. Oh, uh, Werner, eh, lo mandé a un grupo diferente, así que no se me. Ricardo? Ricardo, are you there? Ricardo? I um well this is my work. Try to uh, if uh, you don't Try to speak more than just show so that you guys can have more practice speaking. Okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah. In my case, uh, in a sentence, you don't have a curve. Uh, I write you cool by the curve. In the 82, somewhere with your family is sick, you could put part of medicine to work. Number two, you could take him to the doctor. Number three, you could ask for it in our age. And number four, you could rest enough. And number five, you, could, uh, you feel hungry. Uh, you could buy a hamburger. Okay, teacher. Uh, we, I have a doubt. Uh, for example, number two. I wrote, you could bring him to the hospital. What is the correct way to say? You can take it to the hospital or you can bring him? Take, because bring it, like you are- Assuming that I am there in that uh, place. Exactly, if you are in the hospital, then it's bring. But if you are not in the hospital, it's bring. Take, okay, thank you, bitch. I have a thought, thank you. You're welcome. Wendy, do you have your sentences? She's freezing. I guess she lost the connection. Yeah, I think. Wait. Do you hear us, Wendy? Yeah. Hello. Yes, your sentences. Okay, and number one, uh, I call, I call, uh, go to the. You can create the number five. Mm, you have, um, you have a cough, uh, you shouldn't. Uh, go to a school you have to use good 
just could. Yeah. Could or, or couldn't. Hello, teacher. Hello. Are you guys finished? Yes. Yes. Ah, pues aprovecho. Mm -hmm. Ahorita aprovecho de tomar la asistencia. Mientras. Okay. Okay. So I have. Vale, entonces tengo a Luis. Present teacher. <laughs> Eso lo estoy tomando aquí. Luis. Uh, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. <laughs> Y yes. Viola. Okay. Perfecto. Ya los tengo. Okay. okay. Uh, we'll be in, in the in the breakout in the main room in a moment. Okay. Just continue talking. Just you okay. know, regular talk. Okay. 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 Sick. I go to call the hospital. Sí que es enfermo, ¿no? Uh -huh. Perdón, chicas, solo voy a aprovechar de tomar la asistencia. Ok. Oh, Ana Claudia. Present. Ok, uh, Ivonne. Y... Present. Ok, perfecto. Ok, gracias, chicas, solo eso quería decirles. Y sigan, continúen. Ok, thank you. Um, guys, uh, voy a aprovechar de tomar la asistencia um, para que... Ok, tengo aquí a Daniel y tengo a Francisco. Ok, perfecto. Y tengo a Manuel de Jesús. Perfecto. Ok. Ya los veo. Ajá, sí. Your hair color is beautiful, really beautiful. Really. Oh, thank you. That's sweet. Thank you very much. Okay. ¿Qué te parece, teacher? ¿Cómo? How do you say te parece? Um, Look like. It should play like a lavender. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know. I know. Like, you know, there was a, a I had an, a, a, an, an ex, um, a, an ex co worker that um, he used to say that he used to call me brave. Brave. You know, brave? The, the, la, la, ¿cómo se llama? Ay, ¿cómo se llama esta? Es de la, la de Disney. Esa, esa, um, la, la princesa. Valiente. ¿Ah? Yeah, valiente. Valiente. Yeah, valiente. Because, you know, my hair is curly, right? No, I mean, right now it's not curly, but normally it's curly. So, um, so I had before red hair, like, um, and now it's more orange, more copper. But I used to have red hair and he would come brave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right. I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay. I have a dream. Chicas. Well, chicas and chicos, because. Ah, si no, 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 de una sola vez. Um, ok, so I have Andrés, eh, Janet, la tengo, sí, la tengo, Noemí, sí, y Warner. Ok, perfecto. Ok, ya los veo en el breakout room. Gracias. Perdón, pero en el main room. Ok. <laughs> hola, hola. Eh, voy a aprovechar de tomar eh, la asistencia de una sola vez, chicos. Así que quiero ver, tengo a... Tengo a... Vale, tengo a Melissa. Eh, Melissa. Tengo a Manuel Alejandro. Sí, tengo a Irene. Si la tengo, okay. Y tengo a Carla. Present. Okay. Present. All right, excellent. Okay, I'll see you guys in the main room.
Ok, ya estamos todos. Bueno, chicos, como ya tomé la asistencia, entonces eso sería todo. Solo me quedaría con Wendy. Wendy, ¿usted se puede quedar? No. ¿No? Teacher, sorry. Ok, no problem. ¿Hay alguien? No, teacher. No hay problema. No se I can't. It's ok. Anybody that would like to stay behind? Anybody need any help with something? No? Okay. Bueno, in that case, guys, that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, acuérdense la asistencia a la, la plataforma y los documentos, ¿verdad? Okay? Okay. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank good you. Night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Thank everybody. you, teacher. Bye. Bye, awesome. Bye. Bye guys. Bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow.